Oh, that reminds me of Love Actually when he's like, hi, you know, the Prime Minister Hugh Grant, I love him. Oh. Uh, anyway, so, oh, hello, Happy New Year. It's Happy New Year. It's 2017. I haven't seen you for one full week. How was your guys' holidays? How was your New Year's Eve? I fell asleep at 10.30. Um, yes, oh my gosh. So I took a break. It was really nice. I feel refreshed. I had a little bit of time to like just relax and chill and just like de-stress and uh, I feel like sometimes everyone needs a little bit of that, you know? Everyone needs to just kind of like take a, take a little time and just kind of like, it's like a restart button. Refresh. So I'm so excited to be back. I missed you guys so much. I am just like so full of like excitement and energy and I'm feeling refreshed and I'm just like super excited for this year and for my channel and for everything. So I'm really glad I took that little time off, but I did miss you guys. But I'm back now and I'm gonna start off the year with my December favorites. So I have some products that I really, really loved this past month. Some of them are towards the end of the month. Some of them are kind of like the whole month, but they're just like super awesome products and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. So the first one that I wanna talk about is definitely my foundation. And I just filmed a full foundation routine of exactly everything that I do. That will be going up tomorrow, so you guys can definitely check that out. But basically, I've been doing something differently, and I love it. It's absolutely amazing. I've been mixing my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. And together, these two are magic. These two are like little lovebirds. They just go together so well. They're perfect. The Luminous Silk gives you this skin-like, very beautiful, lightweight glow, and then this gives you the full coverage that you need that this doesn't give you. I will show you tomorrow exactly what I do from very, very beginning to very, very end. Um, but yes, you gotta give it a go. If you have oily skin and you like a bit of a glow but you like full coverage and you just want your skin to look amazing, this is it. Really amazing, guys. I have been absolutely, this. I just used this so it's dirty, but um, this is the SL Miss Glam Beauty Sponge. It's basically like a beauty blender, except for it's her own like version. It's really fat. You can see like how big it is. It's very bouncy, it's very soft. It's big so you can like do your foundation really, really quickly. It's absolutely amazing. I've been using this for quite a while now I and mean, you can see it looks pretty like cruddy. I love this guys. I love the Beauty Blender as well. I used that for years and I've always been happy with the Beauty Blender but there's something about this one that is just a little bit more bouncy and soft and kind of like fluffy, plump. I just really love it. Next is this Giorgio Armani powder. I, I just, I feel like you guys, if you haven't tried this, I got hooked on it from so many other makeup gurus. And this is the Luminous Silk Compact. I have it in the color number two. Now I've hit pan, so you guys can see. Ooh, can you see? Yes, there you go. Um, I feel like when you hit pan on something, it means that you really love it, obviously, because you've used it enough to you've actually hit pan. This is pricey. It's definitely not a cheap foundation powder, or sorry, powder. Um, but it's so beautiful. And you'll see tomorrow when I do the video, um, I'll talk a little bit more about it, but it's just so good. Oh, did I just make it wiggle? Oh, I wiggled it. Now it's all mangled. Okay, well, I'm gonna be ordering another one of those. Next is something that I am really in love with. This is the Show Gold Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is from MAC. I got this when I went to Gen Beauty with um, Cassie in San Francisco. We went shopping. This is the most gorgeous, Pinky Glow. Now, I am doing a new kind of like routine of highlighter and I will show you that tomorrow as well. It's kind of like just a different way of doing it. It's like layering it. Um, this is one of the steps that I do and it is just such a beautiful highlight, guys. It melts into the skin. It's just like so beautiful. You can see right there. It has this like pinky kind of like opal glow so that your skin just looks like you're some kind of amazing gem. Um, it's really just so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. Look at that. I just love it so much. Um, it just makes you look heavenly. It's like a very heavenly 
like, oh, hey, hey girl, hey. I mean, I'm wearing it today, so if you're like, hmm, what she got on? So yes, love that, it's amazing. I highly recommend it, you should go buy it right now. Hopefully they still have them. Uh, next is my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So I got this obviously a long time ago, and then when it sold out, I kind of was like, well, I don't want to use it because everyone's gonna be like, oh, what are you wearing? And I'm like, oh, you can't get it anymore, it's gone. But now that they're back, I have been using this non-stop, literally, like pretty much every time I wear my makeup. I just love it so much. Specifically, the colors that I love are White Peach, Candied Peach, Puree, and Summer Yum. Those are the colors that I wear pretty much every day. I love them so much. It smells like peaches, but there's some really great colors in there. So it's, if you know, even if you don't like warm colors, there's still some other really pretty shades in there. Some really pretty plums and purples, some kind of like more neutral champagne -y's. So it's a really great palette. I highly recommend it. Plus it's so cute. I mean, I know some people get frustrated when I'm like, oh, but the packaging is amazing. You know what? For me, I like packaging. I like things to look cute when I use them. So this is Catnap from ColourPop. This is so beautiful. When I first got it, I was like, I knew I was going to fall in love with it. And then I did fall in love with it. This is what it looks like. It has this most gorgeous, sparkly finish. It's basically a rose gold with like a lot of glitter. It's really sparkly. It's just so beautiful. It catches the light really, really nicely. And I'm gonna stick it on my hand right there so that you guys can see. Do you see how pretty that is? It's, there we go, look at that. It has this like really pretty glow. I have it on the center of my lids. So if you're wondering what is on the center of my lids, that is what it is. I stick it basically on any, over any shadow that I have just on the center and it makes your lids just glow and pop and sparkle. And it's so beautiful and it's only $5. And it helps the kitty cats and the doggies. I have two lip liners that I have been really in love with. This is the Makeup Forever High Precision Lip Pencil. Literally guys, since I got these, that's all I've been using. I haven't used any other lip liners other than these. They are so good. There are so many different shades. The specific colors that I love are number 10 for like a super nude lip and then number 11 for like more of a kind of like pinky, um, a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those. So this one is the number 11. So you can see right there. See how it's kind of like more pink? It's a little bit mauve -y. It's a little bit deeper. And then we have number 10, which is a little bit more of a peachy kind of nude shade right there. So I'm wearing number 11 today. That's what I have on. It's just so beautiful. They're creamy. They last all day long. They are very, very pigmented. They just glide on super beautifully and they really are great colors. Um, I'm really, really happy with them. They feel very, like you can just wear them alone if you want and it gives full coverage, like lip color. It's just beautiful. I've also been loving the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylic. These are awesome. Now, I haven't really used any of the other colors, maybe like one, but this one specifically, I really love when I want just a really kind of like pinky matte lip. I mix it with the number 11 lip pencil and together these two are really beautiful. This is like a super intense lip paint basically. And um, when you do it very softly, it's almost like playing koi from MAC. You can see it right there. So you can do barely any, like one tiny little squeeze and like just kind of like make it like feather into your lip liner. It's just like a really nice matte pinky color. But then if you want, you can make it super intense too and make it look like that. So you have your options of like what you want to do with it. I prefer the kind of softer, like blended into the lip liner, very, very like matte kind of like subtle pink, but it's really gorgeous, it lasts all day long, really pigmented, you don't need very much. This will last you a really, really long time. And last but not least for my um, lips is the Buxom. This is the color White Russian and it's the full on lip cream. These are cooling, so it feels icy cold, like minty on your lips. It kind of makes them full, like it really does like plump them up without like the actual stopping you like tingle, ouchy, that hurts. It's just like very cold. So if you go outside, your lips will feel like icicles. Um, they feel like icicles inside it as well. But it makes your lips look really glossy, just really beautiful and like um, healthy. Like whenever I wear this, Jay's always compliments on my lips. He's always like, wow, your lips look so juicy and beautiful right now. So if you may be going on a date and you wanna look extra juicy, you should try this. Um, plus it smells really good, like 
oh, like vanilla cupcake or something or vanilla frosting. It's super delicious, um, but it does have that kind of cold feeling. So if you don't like cold feelings, maybe stay away, but it's not sticky. Like it's just so pretty. I'm going to put some more on because I just want to look extra plump. But like, look how pretty that is. The color is so beautiful. It's just such a beautiful lip gloss. I'll put some on my hand so that you guys can see the actual color. So there's the color right there. So it's just a very pale, like creamy pink. It's really beautiful. So yes, those are all of the actual swatches so that you guys can see. Also this month I am like super duper into adding pink into the home. So I've added a little bit of pink to my living room. It's so beautiful. I have a blog post up right now, six ways to add pink to your home without being like crazy like princess room. So definitely go and check that out. Um, and I think I'll be doing a kind of like updated like, cause I, ever since we took the Christmas tree down, I've redone the living room and I've made myself a workspace up there. This year is about being organized and about feeling good in your workspace and getting motivated. And I feel like if you have a good workspace, you're like, it's guaranteed that you will be more productive. So I moved my workspace upstairs. I have it exactly how I want it. So if you guys want me to do like an updated kind of like desk slash workspace slash living room tour, cause it's kind of like all in one, then definitely let me know. I would be happy to give you guys a little tour. I've really like, that's what I did during my break on the last kind of like little bit of it was a kind of just like, you know, in the evenings took a little time to kind of like make it exactly how I want it. And it's just like so cute and I love it so much. And it just makes me feel very like motivated and super awesome. So, um, yes, let me know if you guys want to see more of that. I will definitely give you guys a tour and, uh, it's really cute. I love how it turned out. Like it, I had so much fun doing it. It was like, I mean, I just love home decor. I love it so much. And I want to bring more of that into my channel this year with you guys, because that is like where my, like, obviously I love makeup. I will always love makeup. It's always been my passion. However, as I've gotten older and I've, you know, become a mom and like, you know, your passions, they change or you get new ones. So while I love makeup and I always will, I really love home decor, home design, like anything to do with like just making a house a home and kind of putting your own touches on it. I really enjoy shopping for like pillows and throws and furniture and little like, you know, just home decor. I love it. I really do love it so much. And sometimes I feel like I want to share that kind of stuff with you guys on this channel. But then I feel like people will be like, well, it's a makeup channel. I don't want to see that. But it's like, it's my channel, right? And I do, I started it because I loved makeup and that was my life. Like I was in the industry. I did makeup and hair professionally as a, li as a living. I got paid to do it. So I shared my knowledge of what I had learned and what I loved with you guys. But now I love other stuff too. And I hope that you guys don't mind if I start sharing more of that stuff with you guys. And I don't think you will because I feel like we've all gotten older, right? If you've been following me since the beginning, you've also gotten older as well. And so maybe you're into that stuff too, but I really do love it. And so I really do want to start sharing kind of like more stuff like that. But definitely go check out my blog post. You can see a few of the things that I picked out for like how to add little pops of pink to your home for, I mean, I know that we're in January, but you know how retail months are. It's like, it's already spring. You're shopping for your summer backyard decor. So um, it's just a really fun way. I feel like to add little bits of pink. I feel like it's super in right now. It's super trendy. I will leave that link down below. I will leave everything mentioned down below that I talked about today in this video. So tomorrow, definitely stay tuned for my full coverage foundation routine. This is my updated new one. And I go in like super in depth about every step that I use and why I do it that way and what it's for, everything like that. So you guys can look out for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, some people have been getting unsubscribed from YouTube channels. So definitely check because if you're not seeing my notifications that I've put up a new video, it could be that YouTube has just unsubscribed you. So definitely check that you're still subscribed. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. That would be amazing. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or if you're just glad that I'm back for my little break. Um, I missed you guys so much. Definitely follow me on Snapchat as well. Also be sure to check us out. We're going to be on YouTube live at 7.30 p.m. today. So you guys can check us out. That'll be on the Sherman Show. So for my channel, I'm going to be doing Monday through Friday. So every Monday, 
every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday, you will have a new video. The weekends are going to be completely off. And that way you guys will know that you can always find me Monday through Friday on this channel. It's going to be awesome. I'm super excited for that schedule. And then of course you can come over to YouTube live on the Sherman show tonight at 7 30 PM PST and come and say hello to us. Come chat with us. We're going to be on for a half an hour because the bachelor is on tonight at 8 PM. Who is watching the bachelor? Who is ready? I'm actually super excited that it's going to be Nick. I didn't like him the first season. I have to be honest. Actually the second season, I didn't really care for him either, but then I really liked him in bachelor in paradise. I was like, Oh, Nick has changed. I like him, but I'm interested to see what it's going to be this season. I'm super pumped. So let me know if you are a bachelor nation as well I'm gonna be watching every single week maybe we can start doing some little chats about it um but I have Hulu so I have to watch it the day after hey Mo okay I'm gonna go now thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys thank you so 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 much for your support last year uh, it means so much to me and I hope that you continue to watch me in 2017 and tell your friends and share and hopefully we can reach 300,000 this year because I reached 250,000 and that was like a huge milestone for me. I was super duper happy and very proud and just like very excited. So if I can reach 300,000 this year, that would be amazing. Maybe even more. Maybe even more. Okay. Bye. I'm going now. Mwah. Love you guys.